Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to talk about voltage. What does voltage mean? Well, the basic concept comes from this. Let's say we have a capacitor plate set. On one side, we have a positively charged capacitor plate. On the other side, we have a negatively charged capacitor plate. And let's say that the, they're apart a distance d from one another. We then realize there's an electric field that exists between the positive and negative charges. The electric field will be directed from the positive charge to the negative charge. If we now place a small charge, a positive charge, on the, on the right side of this capacitor, we then realize that it's being attracted towards the negative charge here and being repelled by the positive charge there. So if you want to move that charge from the right side to the left side, then it's going to require a certain amount of work, a certain amount of force to get it there. The amount of force required is equal to the size of that charge in coulombs times the strength of the electric field. The stronger the field, the greater the disparity of charges, the more force you're going to need to push that charge across. The work is defined by the force required times the distance. So if we push that charge all the way over to the other side through a distance d, the amount of work we've done is equal to the force times d, and the force that that charge experience is the size of the charge times the strength of the electric field. So it's q times z times d. That's the work done. Now, the definition of voltage. Voltage is defined as the amount of work done to move a charge across this distance here where there's an electric field, the amount of work done to do that, divided by the size of the charge. And that makes sense because let's say that the charge was twice as big. Let's say we had 2Q there. So let's say we have twice the charge. It would then require twice the force, twice the charge, therefore twice the work, and we would have twice the charge. And you see that that ratio will always be the same regardless as to the size of the charge that we use. So it's always the ratio of the amount of work done divided by the charge used, and regardless how big we make that charge, that ratio is always the same, and that is then defined as the voltage. It's the work done to get a charge across from the left side to the right, or from the right side to the left side in this case, from the negative charge to the positive charge, through an electric field, divided by the charge required. If we plug in, if we get rid of these twos again, right here, if we plug in what work is equal to, we can see that the work is equal to QE times D divided by the charge Q, the Qs cancel out, which means that the voltage then is defined as the strength of the electric field times the distance between the left side and the right side of that field. So the voltage can be thought of in two ways. It's equal to the amount of work we need to do to get a charge moved through an electric field divided by the size of the charge, or simply the potential difference or voltage is equal to the strength of the electric field times the distance. Now a volt is defined, therefore, as a joule per coulomb. Remember, it's work over charge. Work is in joules, charge is in coulombs. So a volt is defined as a joule per coulomb. In other words, if we have a uh, one coulomb of charge and it takes one joule of work to get it across that means that the voltage between those two plates is equal to one volt that's how we want to look at it if we have a battery and we have a positive end of the battery and we have a negative end of the battery and the volts across the battery is 10 volts we can say that the voltage at A is 10 volts higher than the voltage at B so sometimes we talk about potential difference or voltage difference. It is how much more volts we have on one side compared to the other side. In this case, A is 10 volts higher than, than B. B could be 100 volts, then A would be at 110 volts. Whenever we talk about the voltage of a battery, we really talk about the difference in the voltage or the potential difference. In this case, when we talk about volts from A to B, that is equal to volts at A, minus volt at B, since A is bigger than B, it'll be 10 volts minus 0 volts, which is a 10 volt difference. But if we talk about VBA, this is equal to V at B minus V at A, which is equal to 0 volts minus 10 volts, is equal to minus 10 volts. When we go from B to A, we increase in voltage by 10 volts. If we go from A to B, we decrease by 10 volts. That's a negative voltage direction. Another way of looking at voltage, V voltage is equal to the potential difference. Potential difference means the voltage difference between two points on the circuit. Sometimes it's also called the EMF or the electromotive force. 
And one of the reasons why we think about it as the electromotive force is because voltage is really, the amount of volts you have on a circuit or in a battery, determines how much push charges feel to move through the circuit. Another way of looking at voltage is to say that the voltage represents the force or push charges feel. Of course, charges don't really feel anything, but if you think about it, if you're a charge and there's a voltage difference there, you're going to feel a push to the circuit. It's going to feel as if you're being pushed through that circuit by the voltage difference. The bigger the voltage difference, the bigger the voltage across that battery, the more push that charge is going to feel. The greater the voltage, the greater the force that the, or the push that the, uh, that the charges feel inside the circuit. So the bigger the potential difference, the greater the force, the more push to get the charges around the circuit. And that's why very large voltages can be very dangerous because Large pushes can actually become dangerous when you get near that. Charges may get pushed through your body if you, get, if you touch a circuit and if the potential difference of the voltage is very large. Again, voltage, think of it as that thing that pushes charge through circuits. The bigger the voltage, the bigger the push. And that's a good place to start.